What is up, my witches? It's Patricia LaCora, and welcome to this game I found called Pokemon Insurgents. Now, I found this while just looking around on Twitter, not Twitter, my YouTube, for just like random videos, and I saw Hero Volti play this. He did an entire series, and that's what I'm going to do, of this amazing game. There are new Pokemon in this called Delta Pokemon, and we're going to go in and check this out. <laughs> I'm not even going to swear a lot, okay? We're going to check this crap out. Sound good? Sound good. Let's get right on into it. Alright, let's start a new game. Welcome to Pokemon Insurgents. Current version is release 1 2. Quick games have potential patches in the future. Hey, good to know. Would you like to play with a traditional or a dark story? Uh, let's go with info real quick. The traditional story is a story in line with more official Pokemon games, albeit with more characters, more plot, and so on. The dark story is a darker storyline. Characters will die on the screen, people will fuse a Pokemon, and the antagonists are cults. Oh, let's get changes in the options menu. Okay. I think we're gonna go with the dark story first, because I want to see the Pokemon fusions with humans here, <laughs> don't y'all? Are you sure? Of course. Alright, and if we get to play as a dude, I'm still gonna use my name, but, eh, I've yet to figure that out. But right now, holy crap. <gasps> dude, that is sweet, that, that... In the world right now. Look at that. It's like 3D maps. I really like that. And the Pelipper and Winkle just showing it all off. Dude. I'm already in love with the gameplay. So are we like, can we be a prince or a princess here? That's what I want to know. Uh, anyone know what the hell is wiggling right there in the middle? Oh, look at that. That is cool. Whoa, the Torin region. One year ago. Wow. Who are you? Thank you all for coming. We live in dark times, my friends. Grave loss has recently befallen us all. Next. The Augur was a great man. Not only was he an unmatched trainer, but his heart burned the desire to protect his people. Yikes. He, he was our hero. A possibly the best leader the Torrid region has ever known. But... Oh no. I'm getting chills. As you know, where other regions have evil teams or organizations, it's Pokemon worshipping cults that call the Torn region home. To these cults, religion is much more than just believing. We won't rest until the world is remade exactly how they want it to be. Yikes. Power protection and the Augur defeated and disbanded over half of them. He saved us. A week ago, he went searching for one of the remaining cults. He has not returned. He hasn't been seen since. Yeesh. People of Torin, I, like you, do not believe our Augur is dead. I assure you, I will search tirelessly until he is found again. Well, good for you, buddy. With a heavy heart, I accept the burden of taking his place until he is found. Until the first Augur returns, I shall be the second. I promise you, I will use every resource at my disposal to find him. We will stand our ground! We will not let these cultists, these insurgents, split apart our families and destroy the place we call home. Long live the Torin region! Long live the Torin region! Wow, I feel like I'm in Game of Thrones with this kind of crap. <laughs> we will remain strong! Damn right we will. Ooh, I'm loving that Gengar background. Would you like to do a challenge run in this game, lock, or similar? Oh, hell no! Are you sure? Uh, yeah. I can do no challenge. Hello, is this thing working? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. 
Oh, thank Arceus, you're not gone just yet. You've got to listen to me. It'll return any minute now. You need to stay focused and remember all you can. You value your memories at all. You'll listen to what I have to say. Huh? We need to be quick. You at least remember your name, right? Okay, we're gonna go with... Even if we play as a dude, I'm gonna go with my name. Nikora. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, it's my name. Okay, good. Good. You remember your name. What else do you remember? Are you a boy or a girl? Girl. And do you remember what you look like? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're choosing one of three. I'm gonna go with the middle because that hair is really, really rocking. I love the hair. Thank goodness, you still remember everything. Gengar! It's here, Nakora, you need to wake up! Oh, hi, Gengar. I've said it off, I said someone turn it off and get you out of here. You need to wake up. Man, that sounds such a good sleep. What happened? Whoa. Are we. I'm freaked out. Alright, the door is locked and Gengar is doing her thing. Soon, Dream Eater will rid the prisoner of the last of her memories. Hopefully, it will be done within the hour. <laughs> I'm freaked out already. Well, how's our youngest prisoner faring? According to the computer, Miss Persephone, the memories should be completely gone very soon. Everything is going as planned. Excellent. Finally, we'll have fulfilled our end of the bargain. Good work, you two. We're starting the ritual soon in the upstairs room. Will you be attending? Of course, Miss. I would never miss a sacrifice. Very well. I'll see you upstairs, then. Miss, wait, I have a question. After the child's memories are gone, what do you plan to do with them? Kill them, of course. I expect you upstairs within two minutes. Oh! Sh shiitake mushrooms. They're gonna kill me? Oh, that is not good. Why are we bothering to wipe the memories if we're just gonna kill them anyways? No clue, but thanks for not asking me that in front of her. You know how she hits the question. So upstairs then. It was fun to see a ritual be performed. Oh, dude. Don't get the Gengar away from me. Let me go. I don't want my dreams eaten. Please. Huh? The hell? Mew! Oh my god, you are adorable. Hi, Mew. The Gengar's gone. Go. Follow me. Get out of here. And never look back. Good luck. Oh, whoa. Thanks, Mew. Alright. Let's check this real quick. I can't click it. Alright. Let's go. Ugh. Gods. The door's locked. Just have a key along a fingerprint scanner stops from being opened. Sheesh. This place is really a cult. I'm freaking out, man. Oh, got a potion! Over here. It looks like another item, but we can't get to it yet. Alright, let's get in here. I'm already freaking out. That intro was scary. But we're just getting started. I mean, who knows what's going to happen next? It's a book that reads The Cults of the Torn Region. You know, check it out. The Torn region has, as far as we know, has always been under the threat of different legendary worshipping cults. There are five cults currently in power. The Cult of Dark Rye, the Abyssal Cult, Infernal Cult, Sky Cult, and a group simply, call, simply called Perfection. Wow. I bet you they're Arceus lovers. All these cults are extremely dangerous and should be treated with extreme caution. Yikes. That's so cool we got Mew right behind us. I love Mew. You hear that, Mew? Mew is still undecided for whether traveling with Nakora is a good thing or not. But you yeah, have. I love Mew. You're so adorable. Alright, second floor cultists, weirdos, and dark eye worshippers. Looks like we need a uh, phone to get us through that door. Mew. Oh, Mew's holding a small note. Okay. I chose me to help you out of this mess due to its special ability. 
It is able to use transform to tra change its form and disguise itself as something else. However, unlike Ditto, Mew can transform Mew as well. If you find DNA, Mew can disguise you as someone else. You should be able to use this to escape the base. Good luck, your benefactor. Damn, thanks! So Mew is definitely going to help us. Right, let's find some DNA around here. Maybe from a sleeping grunt or something? Oh, dude. There's red blood splatter on the ground. Ugh, sweet, the DNA of the Dark Red Cultist. <laughs> Alright, Mew. Can you help me out here? Let's go back to that one room that we were just passing by. And let's see if we can see what the crap was in that room. Maybe we'll find some good secrets laying around. Let's go to this one first. Transform. Dark Red Cultist. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. What's in here? Ooh, another potion. Nice. Oh, I toggled the auto run. I think I just pressed A for that. Hmm. Alright, let's open up this door here. Nothing in here. That was pointless. Alright. Back over here. Oh, I'm sorry, that one. So over here. Let's find out what's in here. It was a uh, repel. Looks like coming handy, big time. Thanks, Mew, you rock. Alright, let's go back up to the second floor here. And open that other door. So basically, Mew's not on our team just yet. So I'm not gonna add it to the bottom of the bottom of my layout. Alright, let's get that crap a doodle out of here. Oh dude, check out these dark rice statues. That is cool. They're gold. Lots of them were silver, weren't they? Oh, we got some items over here. We have an ice heel. And we've got a potion. And that's all we got. Let's go up here real quick, see if there's anything we need now. Mm, some more items, yay. We got an awakening. And we got another potion. Okay. I think that's a tank. Okay, click on it. Right, let's go around over here. Ooh, yay, stairs. Alright. Persephone's finally decided to give the summoning of Dark Red another try. I should have just flew away. How does she know that's not going to happen again? I don't know. These suits are really stuffy and uncomfortable. I wish we could get a new one. You're telling me, man. But Persephone's the boss. Got a bird heel. Hmm. I'm really in love with this music here. I mean, it's, it's really jamming. Okay, are we going to watch a sacrifice happening? Of all the cults in the Torn region, I'd like to think this one is the simplest. No conspiracies or schemes, no world domination, nothing. All I want is dark right, and that's just the way I like it. Huh, weirdo. You look really familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Uh, no. Rituals Persephone does always fascinate me, as horrifying as they are. The weird idea that some chanting and blood can call, so, call for something as powerful as dark right. What else she does it? Well, I don't know. Maybe, uh, the dark side of witchcraft? I perform the light side of witchcraft, thanks. Hey, you look an awful lot like the one guy we sacrificed last year. Are you two brothers? Uh, no. No, we're not. <laughs> Don't distract me. I'm trying to concentrate here. Uh, what are these? Monitors or what? Okay, y'all are stuck up as a... Oh. And so we begin. Miss, please, can you do this? I don't want to die! You swore that when you joined, you would give your life for us. How is this any different? I choose the ritual circle. Sorry if you're epileptic, y'all. Darkrai, Lord of Darkness! I call upon you to enter our world! In return, I offer you the soul of this loyal servant. 
be bound to your world of nightmares forever. Vocal Vertem Umbarium Dominium! And nothing happened on this side, but that happened on that side. Holy crap! Is that the Mark of Dark Ride? <sighs> Chills. Holy crap. <laughs> yep. That's Dark Ride, alright. I can definitely tell by those eyes. I got chills, y'all. Darkrai, the Lord of Nightmares. You are the great balancer of the world. You punish the great and slay the immortal. It has been a year since I saw you last. You remember what occurred then. We accomplished something incredible that day. But finally, you had accepted our offer to join us. We fled so soon after, never to be seen again. But now I call upon you again. Darkrai, why will you not join me? I know my sister has seen you from time to time again. Why do you favor her over me? I beseech you, Darkrai. Join me! Join the cult that has worshipped you for so long! My guidance and your power! The world can be ours! And he's like, Hell no, Bish! I'm out of here! Well, isn't that just lovely? He's probably gone off to Selene City to see my sister again. What a waste of a grunt. Yeah, well, what a waste of a human being you are. But what do you two want exactly? Miss, please, I'm confident if we had another try, we could trap Dark right here. I don't know why it didn't work this time, but if you'll just give us another chance... Get out of my way! Fire Blast! Well, they're dead. I'm gonna go check on the prisoner. None of you had better follow me. Um, you have no idea. I'm actually right here. I'm the one doing the silly dance. <laughs> See? Nothing's happening when I do it. Well, that was interesting. I know, right? Persephone has a sister? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I had to talk to you earlier. Without hoods, at least. <laughs> are you just claustrophobic or the head are you just that damn stupid? Persephone doesn't seem happy at all. If I were you, I'd clear out the base until she cools off. Hey! Good thinking, buddy. And I think I may know where the exit is. Damn voice acting actually makes my nose run a lot. I don't know why. Oh crap. So yeah, we'll go this way. Bye! Shade Forest. Ooh, I'm in love with this place already. Looks like we escaped. But which way did we go? This way? Wait. Oh, crap. It's Caterpie. Okay. Mew. <gasps> what the hell? What's 55? Alright, we're gonna go with, uh, Psychic. Dude, we're already level 65. Okay, that was random. La random. Hmm. I can't move any of these, so I have to go around. Town or town? Huh? There's a small flute and another note in these hands. The quartz flute. What's this? This flute lets you call upon me when needed. To use it, go in your bag and either use it directly or register it. Good luck, your benefactor. Well, thanks. Bye, Mew. I could swear I saw Mew here just now. Did you see it? A tiny pink Pokemon? It was floating really close to you. Uh, yeah. I, I knew it. I've always wanted to see a Pokemon that rare. This could be my break. Get travel. Uh, dude. My name is Damien. I'm an aspiring Pokemon trainer. And you are Nakora. Got it. You came to Telnor Town at the perfect time. The Augur, uh, the greatest man in the world, of course, is coming today. You know who the auger is, right? 
How could you not? You've been living under a rock. Uh, no, I've been in the Dark Ride Cultist base for a long time getting my memories eaten. He's the guy who protects the region. He's my biggest hero. The mayor of the townsfolk has been preparing ever since this morning. I'm excited. I was just running errands before he arrives. I know. Why don't you help out? We're signing jobs in the town hall. You know, cleaning and so on. Well, you think uh, it would give me some Pokebucks? <gasps> oh my god, look at this! There's an Emolga, and then there's that... I think there's just the Augur, and then there's a... I think it's a town symbol? And then there's a Pokemon Center here? Okay. Okay. Ah, that's easy. Ooh! Pokeballs! Thank you! There's a wild Pokemon to catch them. Of course. Okay, and what's in here? Ooh! I like this. I like this too. See? Oh, so you're an artist. Buzz off, kid. I'm not here to talk to you. Oh, jerk. This fell down here. The second auger is the most amazing person ever. They say he's so strong he defeated Kyogre in a wrestling match. Isn't that incredible? Uh, one Kyogre's a legendary. And he's too heavy to lift. Really big show trying to fight the, uh, trying to fight Braun Strowman. That's a load of smoke. Someone's like puffing up your booty. Ooh, who are you two? I feel bad for Damien. All the other kids in town got a Pokemon left, but he wasn't allowed to. Aww, that sucks. People called him the Augur, but that's not quite right. He's actually the second Augur. The first one was hired a while ago. Huh. Well, hi, Magnemite. Alright, so, uh... Maybe I go in... Oh! What's this place down here? Who are you? You look kind of like, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Thanks. Can we go here yet? Ooh! Hello, I'm Professor Sylvian. I'm the professor in this town. I suppose you want to start your Pokemon adventure. Most of the kids in the neighborhood have already, already gotten their Eevee from me and head north to the, tra to the training school in Midna Town. That's the Twilight Princess reference right there. Midna? <laughs> You'll have to wait a bit, though. The town is busy preparing for the Augur's arrival, and so am I. Why don't you come back later? Aw, oh, come on. I want my Eevee. I want my Eevee! Do you have a Pokemon? If not, I'm sure Professor Sylvian would be happy to give one. That's Bunch Eevee. Oh, I love Eevee. Eevee, you're so adorable. Okay. Well, it's six now, but soon I'll be old enough to get my own Pokemon. I can't wait! Aw, cute. Most of the gym in the, gyms in the Torn region are based around a theme, rather than a type. For example, Xavier, the gym the leader in Vizic City, is a forest themed gym, which means he uses both poison and bug types. And trust me, you don't you don't want to know what the elite forest teams look like. Oh, you should remember that. Okay, let's see. Do I have to you to get a job? Uh-huh. Well, that's kind of like what the 2DS and 3DS do. <laughs> Alright, let's go look around, see if we can find that place we need to be. Okay, what about you two? Yo, did you hear? The Augur's coming to our little town! It's like the leader of the region! I heard he has a salamence. Awesome! The salamence are pretty cool. But why do you have an umbrella on your head? You don't you feel it's bad luck to open an umbrella indoors? Professor Sylvian gives Eevee the young trainers as a starting Pokemon. While it's a bit boring by itself, Eevee is special because it can evolve into so many different things. I don't know though, I wouldn't evolve my Eevee if I caught it. I just have this feeling there'd be a reward somewhere for keeping it as is. Well yeah, but... Still, Umbrella? He's already over here, I think. Alright. 
actually when you talk to when you talk to over here. I finished cleaning up the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, this is Nakora. I met them outside. They offered to help too. Nice to meet you, Nakora. Well, Damien, I think we're pretty well finished. As long as you have your gift for the auger ready, I think you're done. You do have your gift, right? Oh, well, um, I may have forgotten. Of course you have. You better find one in fast. I heard you can find a rare stone in one of the caves in the forest. Of course, you need a Pokemon to go save one. No, absolutely not. Not him. Damien is not ready to get a Pokemon. He's just a, just, just, just a child. Well, as long as my character, lady, chill out. Mom, please, everyone else in the town I got this and left. And you're not gonna follow them, you just got killed. Damn, or protect too much? Why do you care? It's not like you're my it's not like you're my real mother or anything. Ouch. I raised you since birth. I'm not capable of raising a plant, let alone a, po let alone a Pokemon. You're irresponsible, antisocial, and you can't even That's enough out of you two. You're embarrassing us. I said your name was Nakora. I'm sure you've handled a Pokemon before. Well let one to both you and Damien. Would you be willing to help him through the forest? The cave find help him find the other gift for the auger? Wonderful. I'm very grateful. So let's tell then. Nakora will help Damien to get a gift for the auger, and if Damien shows responsibility, perhaps he can keep the Pokemon afterwards. Well, how's that sound? Fine, he won't though. Yeah, let's go. Your mom is being a <laughs> That was my soft sensor. <laughs> I'll meet you in the professor's lab to get an Eevee. She has a bunch of Eevees from her days as a trainer. The lab is just in the southeast corner of the town. I'll see you there. I really hope I don't mess this up. Hey, Nakora, thanks for agreeing to do this with me. It really does me a lot. Well, no big deal. But I really want to prove to your mom that you can be responsible. And she's just being a beep! <laughs> I don't have a sensor program, so I had to bleep myself. <laughs> hey, who's this fella? Listen, Professor. These Pokemon are freaks. Hey! No other trainer would want them, and we can't keep them any longer. All I want is for you to take them. You already keep a bunch of Eevee as is. Surely these three won't be a bother. Why do you care about them? I know what you've done. It's true, I'm merciless. I've done some awful things. There's no reason for these Pokemon to die. Um, hello? I'm Damien, and this is Nakora. We're here to get a Pokemon so we can go into the forest safely. <laughs> He's like, uh, what? Sylvan, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them, and they're sure to die in the wild. If you want, you can just give them to these kids, right? Put them on the table. Very well. Alright, what do we got? It's easy, please. Who are you? You look like Giovanni. Are you two are in need of a Pokemon? Yes, ma'am. I see. That man that was injured just now, he's one of my colleagues in the university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. He's also the leader of the Cult of Perfection. Really? A, a cult leader? People are evil, Professor! You shouldn't be talking to them, let alone accepting gifts from them! I know that. Tell me, Damien, Nikora, have you, ever, have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? No. Me neither. Then let me to explain. Delta Pokemon are based on a phenomenon in the Holon region far away. They're Pokemon that have, been, that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. They look like they're typed differently than normal. An example would be an Electric-type Dragonite or a Water-type Porygon. These Pokemon on the table now are Deltas. I'm not sure what type they are, but they should be experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. They're scientists and marvels. I'd love to keep one study. Now normally I would give you an easy of the Pokemon to start you off on your journey. However, it seems that there are three more options for you to choose from, so I will offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon to travel with, or the Eevee I normally give away. 
you want an Eevee, talk to me. Otherwise, take your pick. The core, I don't know what to do. I don't like the idea of Pokemon being made by a murderer. I don't like the idea of these Pokemon left being let all alone forever. You can pick, but hurry up. You don't know when the auger is arriving. Alright, let's check these out. Ooh, Ghost and Dragon type Delta Charmander. And we have a Dark and Fine type Delta Squirtle. And we have the Fairy and Sexy type Delta Bulbasaur. Oh my god. I had to go with the Charmander. It looks so cool. It's Go Dan Dragon. I pick it. Yes, I want it. Would you like to give a nickname to Charmander? Okay, it's a male. Now, I would give this name to, like, um, a legendary Pokemon, but we're gonna call him Raz. Because, just, just because I want to. <laughs> and then we still pick the Delta Squirtle. Nakora, I think you're right. We want to pick a Delta Pokemon just like you. Hey, Nakora, before we go into the Shade Forest, how about a battle? It'll be the perfect time to test out our new Pokemon. Let's go! Alrighty. Let's check this shit out. I'm excited. Alright, Damien. Oh, dude. This looks so cool. We're gonna use Twister. Why am I already level 7 when my... When my rival is level 5? Which... I don't know, potion? I have 6 potions? Sheesh! Okay. I know what typing is in effect here, but holy ass. Twister. Oh, got a crit hit on me, but still, not bad. <laughs> wow, I won. Maybe I need to go to the gym someday. All right, Nikora, here's the deal. I'm going to head north into Shade Forest. At the northern end of the forest is a really large cave. In the middle of that cave is the rare stone we're looking for. I'll meet you there, okay? <sighs> Nikora, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah. Do you need to rush off before I give him one, but I'd like you to have this. The Pokedex! Huh, cool! This is the Pokedex. Short for Pokemon Index. Well, that's obvious. It's a data collection of all Pokemon that I give to trainers. When you see a Pokemon, it will be registered in the Pokedex catch one, the Pokedex will be full of data regarding that Pokemon. Anyways, now that you've gotten that, you should be all set to go on your adventure. Head up north to Telmore Cave, deep in the forest. Be careful, and good luck. Thanks. Now, there we go. Let's check out our Pokemon. That is cool. So, level 7, Timid Nature. His ability is Spirit Call. Powers up ghost type moves in a pinch. I like that. So, it's kind of like Torrent or Blaze or Overbrow. Hmm. Alright, he only has three moves. You can get ribbons too. This is awesome. I actually have the Pokedex entry on this little guy. Okay, I finally found it. <clears throat> a Delta species discovered by Echo the Third. While the flamelet's tail does not immediately appear after its birth, it burns more fiercely with age. And check it out, it's called the Bone Lizard Pokemon. That is freaky tight. But I can't wait to see like Delta Charizard and all that cool, all that cool stuff. So, let's go back. If you notice down there, I actually put our cute little Charmander on our uh, team list. Which, as this time goes on, my layout will actually be more impressive. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to making layouts. 
Alright, now that we got our... Wait a minute, hold up here. Check it out! He's following us! Aww! Raz is taking it easy. Aw, cute! Aw, he seems to try and tell Nikora something with her eyes. That is adorable! Let him save. Here we go, save it. Don't forget you can press V to quick save. Good to know! Now that we have a Pokemon, let's go on our little quest to go find the rare stone real quick. I mean, this here has heart gold soul silver mechanics. I'm in love already. Ooh, what's this? The Dex Nav. I wonder what that is. Well, who are you looking like Bray Wyatt? Of course, they're dangerous. Shouldn't you be at home? Shouldn't you be at home? Alright, Hiker Matt. Here we got one Pokemon. Look at what you got. Shot. Alright, Raz. Let's use Twister. Use Focus Energy. Alright. Clear? Come on, one more. One more should do it. So we can actually check out our stats over here. That's cool. That is one mechanic from, I think it's like from, um, uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, along with Sun and Moon, along with Pokemon X and Y, that you can just, like, check your Pokemon and check out the, uh, stat reduction and stat increase. That is cool! I can love at that already! That's pretty slow uh, XP, but, well... What Pokemon you have there? <laughs> well, thanks. A pretty badass one, too. Alright, let's go up, up, up. Go around. Oh, the potion over there. Alright, going up. And we gotta find a cave. Ooh, Pokeball. Literal. Okay. Who knows? Is it a potion or half a potion? Oh, Pokemon battle. Oh, we have Nidoran. Female. But we're, I'm not ready to catch anything right, right just yet. We're gonna run. Alright, we have a Sphere Potion. Super Potion. Sorry, my accent makes it hard to enunciate sometimes. Ready to lose? I won't have any mercy on you. videos, you can actually go above level 100 in this game, actually. Hmm. That has a lot of experience you're getting. Heh. I'll have mercy on you this one time. Alright. I think we're here. We are... Ooh. Nice bridge. Oh, we're actually here. Telnor Cave, okay. Now we see our sprites a little clearer, and I'm in love with the little guy. Look at his little flame, it's purple! Oh, I love my little Delta Charmander! So cute, and. Is this a leprechaun? Well, um. By the time this is up, St. Patrick's Day will already be over. Holy crap! What's about me? Are you trying to humiliate yourself? No. Oh, you're a ruling maniac. Alright. My job.
This is I who was humiliated. <laughs> yeah, better than getting an atomic wedgie. Alright, down here. And down this hole. And I wonder if I have any ethers on me. Who do we have here? Rug and roll up. As I said, I'm not ready to capture any Pokemon just yet. Should I get Ugh. It's a Bell Toy A little Bell Toy. We're going to hit it with a Confuse Ray. Rapid Spin? Ain't gonna work, honey. Raz is half Ghost, half Dragon. Alright, let's use... Scratch. Pardon? Okay. They're gonna work. Where would that be at? Well, that worked. Alright, I got Pokeballs. Right here. Come on, ball toy. Damn it. So I'm gonna work. Gotcha. Now we got a new pal. Now we got a new pal for our team. And we're gonna give this one a nickname. Come on. Okay. The clay doll Pokemon, a ball toy moved by spinning it on its single foot. It has been depicted in murals adorning the walls of a once bustling city in an ancient age. Okay. And we're gonna give this logo a nickname. Um. Let's see. It's genderless. So let me think of a name. I'm gonna name it. We're gonna name it Annabelle. Alright, there we go. We got Annabelle on our roster. And I know it looks a little off kilter, but as I said, I'm still getting used to making layouts. So let's go ahead and check her out. Okay, she has the ability to levitate. And it knows hardened, confusing, rapid spin, and mud slap. Sweet. Alright, let's... Ooh, I wonder those are up there. We'll find out later. Alright, let's check our bags if we have anything to help, uh, heal them with. Potion. Give that to Raz and to Annabelle. We don't have any ethers. Ooh, we're gonna change our clothes. Jumpsuit, no hat, purple pack, and jump pants. We're not gonna wear a hat. Let's save again. Okay. Nose pass right now. Aren't you a little bit uh young to be traveling with Pokemon? Hey, I'm going on 29 years old, buddy. Don't tell me I'm too young. Yeah. Well, I'm just 
you know, just doing what I can. Alright, which way do we go? Go around over here, go upsies, downsies, and then Pokemon. Go around over here, downstairs, up the ladder. Oh, hey, we found ya! Nakora, you're so slow! That took me forever! Anyway, I think that's the rare stone the mayor was talking about over there. Or on the far right of the cave. You can't miss it. You will not leave Telnor Town alive. Say what now? My agent is already in place. I assume yours is too. Yes, then I'm to the brink with the strongest of Pokemon. Rest assured, he will be dead before he leaves Telnor Town. Very good. This auger disgusts me. I at least grudgingly respect the first one, but this one is just useless. He's practically brainwashed the entire region with all his propaganda he spread about himself. Have you heard how ridiculous some of it is? He was born of fire and lightning, and he rode Xerneas as a, as a steed. Ugh. The man's been augur for a year, and already the people are worshipping him. Well, we won't have to worry about him after today, will we? Keep going. That was weird. Nakora. Those were cultists! Did you hear what they were saying? They plan to assassinate the auger when he comes to Telnor Town! I can't believe we're caught up in the middle of this. We we need to help. We need to go back and warn the auger before the assassins get to him. We have to hurry. The auger might have already arri have arrived. Quick, let's go! So we're not getting the stone? Damien, Nakora, you're late. The auger arrived five minutes ago. He's waiting for you two in the town hall. Nakora, we have to hurry. The auger can be attacked at any minute now. Oh boy, an assassination plot. Really? Oh, hello. I'm Jaren, second auger. Nice to meet you all. You have a very lovely town. It might be your name, young one. I'm Nakora. Um... Uh, my name is Damien, and this is Nakora. We're a big fan, sir. We're here to warn you that one of the guests here wants to kill you. Oh, crap. Oh, this sounds awkward as a fart in church. That's a very serious accusation, Damien. I'm so sorry about all this, sir. Damien, what are you saying? You're embarrassing us. You're punished for this. Actually, I wouldn't worry about it. We have enough punishment here as is. Yep, we found him right over here. And who might you be? We're cultists. And we're here to kill you. Well, what? No, you can't! In fact, you won't even get a chance to battle him. I'll stop you two right now. Come on, Nakora. Kid, have you been watching too many superhero movies? We're cultists. We have strong Pokemon and actual weaponry. We've only come here to eliminate the auger. Step aside and we won't kill you too. No! I won't back down! This is my chance to prove myself! Alright, kid. Just don't say we didn't warn you. It looks like you're mine. Still the arrival of the Abyssal Cult. Abyssal Cult? Oh, Kyogre! So y'all worship Kyogre. Well, the other one, I guess, worships uh, Groudon? I'll be right back. Heh. A little grinding, a little training. 
got Annabelle up to level 12 and Rise up to level 13 and we just kick the abysmal cult leaders behind. Childish impudence. You are nothing. Well, uh, I just got some money from you and I just beat your ass, so, um, how am I nothing? No matter, I'll take you down with me. No, you won't. Trying to kill me is one thing, but threatening innocent children? You don't strike too many. I'm sending the two of you to Helio City for your trial. Although, after all that, I don't see a bright future for you. Thank you, Laura Morte! Wow, teleport spell. Nice. Did you just kill them? Of course not. I'm just taking them to Helio City. Sorry for letting you two find my battles, but I was curious to see how you would do. Don't worry, if you lost, I wouldn't have let you get hurt. I'm very impressed. But you're talented and responsible. If you ever pass through Helio City, come on, stop by. I'd love to see the two of you again. For now, though, I should return to... I should return. I have a trial to attend to. Thank you for hosting me. You have a very lovely town. Wow. Did the Augur just give you a compliment? I think so. I think the foster mothers would have trouble making you stay if that's the case. Damien, this is your chance to go on an adventure. You got an invitation from the Augur himself. Yeah, I guess you're right in that case. I need to get going as soon as possible. Well, my friends have already arrived at Midnittown. They're training at the trainer school. Hey, Nakora, why don't we race there? Minotown is just on the other side of that cave we went to earlier today. So we learned how to battle and everything there. See you then. Well, in uh, our case, we're going to go heal up and we're going to end up our episode right now because this game is awesome. I've played many fan games like this before. Not on the channel, but like. Hold on. Yeah. I played. A lot of fan games, like in my spare time, and holy crap, this dude literally tops my list of the top five best fan games I've ever played. Like it's literally there at number one. Between Snakeoid and Gaia, have that moved down to like two and three. Cause this is this is fantastic. It was made in like RPG Maker, and not a lot of RPG Maker games are like. This. Aww. I uh. I forgot I switched to Annabelle to main because she was using confusion and all I guess stuff to knock out that um scrub. So we're gonna hit V and then auto saves. But I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case. I mean, you never really know. <sighs> I am a hundred percent impressed with this game so far. And I can't wait to continue this series. 100% gonna complete it. This game is fantastic. I have nothing else to say. So I'm gonna get out of here. I am very tired and I can't wait to continue playing this game. So if you like this video, hit the like button faster than you can cast a spell in the face. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because I do videos every Monday through Friday. Unless I'm not feeling good or I'm on a trip or something. <laughs> and what to do? Be part of the coven. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. In our next episode, we're going to go to um, Midna City, take on the trainer school, and see what the hell just happened after that. <laughs> see ya! Mwah! Stay magical, my friends. And uh, Delta Pokemon, hell yes!